I remember the December of 1989, it was the coldest December ever recorded. And I was out every day, and I think it was, there were some days it was like 20 below zero wind chill. And people were here buying. So I think like 20 below was the coldest. And I, I, you can only stand it for four hours. I mean, you just have to be <laughs> kind to yourself. <laughs> My name's Maureen Shore, and I've been a street vendor on this marketplace for 30 years. I love it. Well, I make most of the jewelry that I sell, and if I don't make it, it's fair trade, because that's uh, it's my own business and I can do whatever I want, so it's a place for me to help make the world a better place in my own way. And the most wonderful thing about this job is the people from all over the world that come here. That's why I've been here so long, besides the fact that I love to make jewelry. But the people are just constantly interesting and wonderful and you ask people where they're from and they're from all over the world. It is a nice street. It's pretty cool, you know, uh, for one two faults that it has. It also has a lot of good stuff. It's, you know, old-fashioned looking and it's beautiful restaurants and places to eat. A diverse mix of people. There's people from all over the world here. For a little tiny city in a little tiny state, it's pretty far out. It's pretty uh, kind of neat. And it's Donald Garside, and I've been out here on Church Street for about six months. I was starting, uh, I was starting over again. You know, my kids were all grown, and I'm on my own now. So I figured I'd go back to one of my first loves, you know, drawing and art and stuff. And I had the opportunity, so here I am. I've drawn since I was a little boy. You know, I've always been drawing or painting or doing something like that. And uh, I just can't get it out of my head. The ideas keep coming, so I keep drawing them. In fact, I've been thinking, I still have one of my first drawings. I've been thinking of putting it up here just for, so I've always been into it. And it's nice when I get the people's reactions, they come and they look at it, especially the kids. You know, Did you draw this all by yourself? I'm like, yeah, all by myself. So that kind of keeps me coming out here. Great engaging with the kids. This is gonna be my first winter, yeah. I'm excited about it. You know, I know I sound like a rookie. A lot of the other vendors think you know, I couldn't be so excited about it when it's happening. But you know, you dress in layers. And like I said, I was a mailman for 18 years, so I'm used to being outside. You know, and, you know. Uh, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. Tenth year on Church Street with the cart. My eleventh year doing the California. Normally, Calicorn's kind of a, you know, a fair festival summertime thing. So when people see they can get it in the wintertime, they're pretty stoked. You know, I've been out here when it's been zero degrees out at the end of the night. Now, I didn't start the day when it was that cold, but uh, you know, the temperature dropped. So, definitely no fun packing up when it's that cold. But, I pretty much just do weekends in the winter season. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the temperature is tomorrow about 18 degrees with a 10 to 15 degree wind chill. The difficulty I face is cold weather. <laughs> and the summer obviously is a high season, like June, July, August. And then we have the foliage in September and October. And then November is a pretty slow month. And then you have the month of December, which uh, is the Christmas season. So it's busy, but it's also chilly and cold, and the weather is um, is decides whether you have a good day or not. So you learn to dress, and it's layers, layers, layers. You just you have to be comfortable to be here. Uh, merino wool long underwear is the greatest stuff on the planet. So I have several pairs of that. It's a layer. And, uh, People will still step up. I mean, this is Vermont, after all. People have winter clothes, they go out, you know, we don't have to stay in our houses. And Vermonters are very hardy people. I, I've, I'm surprised at how many people will stop when it's really cold and purchase at Christmas time. So I get bundled up and I'm here. I, actually, I think the busiest days of the year for me are the five days before Christmas, if weather permits because um, a lot of men come, and men kind of seem to procrastinate with their shopping. So on Christmas Eve, it's really busy with guys. <laughs> I mean, it's a great place to be business, but <clears throat> particularly for food, because there are so many restaurants and there's so much competition, you know, there aren't really that many people. I mean, Church Street is happening, for sure, but it's not Faneuil Hall in Boston. I mean, you know, we don't have 30, 40 million people a year coming through here. If this was the only thing I did, just this cart, I would be making it.